Australia, over 50,000 jobs were lost in 2024 due to corporate layoffs, a significant increase compared to previous years. This surge raises an important question. Are layoffs becoming the default solution for companies facing economic challenges? What if there were more effective ways to address financial difficulties than just cutting jobs? How can Australian companies rethink their approach to management and growth to avoid the negative impact of layoffs? Excessive reliance on layoffs as a business strategy often reflects a short-term focus on cutting costs at the expense of long-term sustainability. Companies may resort to layoffs as a quick fix during economic downturns or financial challenges, believing it to be the most effective way to preserve profitability. Layoffs are frequently a symptom of deeper organizational issues that have been overlooked or mismanaged over time. They often indicate underlying problems such as poor financial planning, ineffective leadership, and a lack of strategic foresight. When a company consistently resorts to layoffs, it may signal that the organization has failed to adapt to changing market conditions, neglected to innovate, or has not invested adequately in employee development and engagement. Layoffs may provide immediate financial relief by quickly reducing payroll expenses, giving the appearance of a more stable balance sheet in the short term. This can appease shareholders and investors temporarily, and may even boost stock prices as the company demonstrates a willingness to cut costs during tough times. However, the long-term consequences of layoffs can be detrimental to the organization's health. So, let's start with a big one. Short-term thinking. It's like putting a Band-Aid on a gunshot wound. Sure, it might stop the bleeding for a little while, but it's not going to heal the underlying problem. Too often, companies get caught up in the quarterly earnings report. They focus on cutting costs, laying off staff, and boosting short-term profits. It's like driving a car while only looking at the rearview mirror. You might avoid a few potholes, but you're guaranteed to miss the exit. When a company is obsessed with cutting costs, it often comes at the expense of the customer experience. Cheaper materials, fewer staff, and reduced services. It's a recipe for disaster. Let's start with something we often overlook. The emotional toll. When you let people go, those who stay behind feel a mix of guilt, fear, and uncertainty. It's like being on a sinking ship and watching your friends jump off while you're still on board. This emotional turmoil can really drag down morale. And when morale takes a hit, productivity follows. People become less engaged, less creative, and less willing to go the extra mile. It's like trying to run a marathon with one leg tied behind your back. And let's not forget about the ripple effect. High turnover, poor quality work, and a decline in customer service. These are all symptoms of a demoralized workforce. When you cut people loose, you're often cutting out the heart and soul of your company. Those are the people who know the ins and outs, the ones with the big ideas. And when they're gone, so is that institutional knowledge. It's like erasing a company's history. But it's not just about losing those experienced folks. It's about the fear that lingers in the minds of those who stay behind. Fear of being next in line, fear of taking risks, fear of failure. Innovation thrives on risk, on trying new things, on failing fast and learning even faster. But when employees are looking over their shoulders, that kind of bold thinking goes out the window. Let's start with transparency. It's like opening a window in a stuffy room. When you share information openly and honestly, you create a space where trust can grow. Employees want to know what's going on, and they deserve to know. It's not just about telling them the good news. It's about sharing the challenges, too. Building trust is like building a house, brick by brick. Every honest conversation, every kept promise, strengthens that foundation. And when employees trust their leaders, they're more engaged, more productive, and more likely to stick around. But it's not just about what you say, it's about how you say it. Rumors love a vacuum. When there's a lack of information, they fill the void. That's why it's essential to address rumors head on. Don't ignore them, don't let them fester, 
be open, be honest, and provide the facts. The truth is, layoffs are often a symptom of a deeper problem, not a solution. It's essential to diagnose the underlying issues. This means rolling up your sleeves and digging deep into your organization. Take a hard look at your finances. Are you spending money wisely? Are there areas where you can cut costs without sacrificing quality or customer service? And what about your operations? Are your processes efficient? Are your teams working at their full potential? Don't forget about your customers. Are they happy? Are you meeting their needs? Sometimes the answer to your problems lies outside your company. Maybe it's time to explore new markets or develop new products. Instead of slashing jobs, let's focus on building up your business. Restructuring, process improvement, and cost reduction are all great places to start. It's about getting leaner, meaner, and more efficient. But it doesn't stop there. Innovation is key. We need to be thinking about new ways to generate revenue, new markets to conquer, and new products to offer. It's about looking forward, not just backward. Remember, your team is your greatest asset. By investing in your people, fostering a positive culture, and adapting to change, you can transform your organization into a thriving, resilient force. Let's move away from the mindset of cuts and towards a future of growth and innovation. It's time to empower your team and unlock their full potential. Your experiences and insights are invaluable to us. As we explore the journey of turning challenges into opportunities, we'd love to hear how you've navigated obstacles and found success. Share your thoughts and stories with us. Tell us, what challenges have you faced in your personal or professional life? How did you turn these challenges into opportunities for growth? What strategies or approaches worked best for you? How did overcoming these challenges impact your overall success?